Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Well, the holidays are upon us. All the holiday releases are starting to come out and we are gonna get the ball rolling with a really big one. These are two new product lines from Charlotte Tilbury. Today we are going to be looking at the Instant Eye and a Palette release for Holidays 2021. It is the Smoky Eyes Are Forever Palette. Sounds like a James Bond film, doesn't it? And we have the new Limitless Lucky Lips, which is a new formula and a bunch of red shades. So we are going to look at them. We are gonna swatch them in two different lightings. We are gonna compare a little bit. We're gonna do a demo and I am going to give you my opinion because so many of you have been telling me that you would like to watch your spending as all these holiday releases come out. Boy, there is some good ones on the horizon. I understand that so I will give you my opinion uh, at the end with what I think and you might be surprised. So stick around. All right, let's start with the, the Instant Eye Palette for 2021 Holidays. Smoky eyes are forever. Ooh. So um, some people are saying that the palette isn't weighty enough. I don't know. I haven't really watched any reviews, but just what I was reading before. Looks okay to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just easy to please. Let's take a look at them in the pan. We have four different eye looks. You know the way Charlotte does that. Let me get those out of any glare so we can see the love eyes, followed by power eyes, happy eyes, and confident eyes. We got some greens in there, some purple shades. I think it's actually a very nice mix and you'll see me use them in the demo. Let's go to them swatched on my arm in studio lighting. So let's take a look there. We have left to right again. The first three are love eyes. Then we go to the power eyes look, followed by the happy eyes. And the last tree, trio there is confident eyes all the way on, on the right. So you can take a look at all those shades. There are lots of shades to uh, play with and the way that of course Charlotte breaks it down to make it easy for anyone who's intimidated by a big palette is she just puts the looks there and she breaks them down as she usually does in prime, enhance, and smoke. You do not have to follow that, but if you are intimidated by a larger palette, it is kind of nice to know that the prime shade goes all over the eye, the enhance shade in the crease, and the smoke for the outside. I didn't even stick with that for this, but if you would like to, she gives you four built-in looks. This has 12 different shades, of course, with all four of those looks, and apparently six different formulas in mattes and shimmers, metallic, and even this kind of liquid metal look that she talks about um, across six different formulas um, and 12 shades. So it is really, I think Charlotte kind of branching out and a lot will say that it's more of the same. We'll make our decision up as we go along here today. Um, this by the way is $75. It is, I'm a little bit confused at time of filming because they did a 48 hour VIP release, which when I release this, you'll still have a day to get it. Then after this 48 hours is over, I don't know if she's gonna just release it in a full release or she's gonna withdraw it for a week or so and then bring it back, but this is the holiday palette. So even if you don't grab it during the VIP, it, it, it will be there at some point and I will make sure to update my links so that you can get it. Right now it is coming with a little tiny free mini eye blender, which are not bad, little synthetic brushes from Charlotte Tilbury. We will put it to use in the demo so that you can see it. Kind of a cute little brush, especially for travel. Her synthetic brushes are just not that bad at all. Then I wanna also look today at the Limitless Lucky Lips. This is a $34 each little five shade collection of red toned lipstick. Um, and of course the reason that she says red tone is it kind of harkens back to, do you remember the Lucky Lipstick releases from the Lunar New Year collection? If you can think back, there were three. This time there are five and since they are called Lucky as well, they are red toned. We have this cute little case with these little red lips on it. The case and the size of the case is exactly the same as the Superstar lips. Do you remember Superstar lips from a few seasons ago? They were in all gold packaging, but it looks like the same packaging just changed up just a little bit. 
these roll up and unlike the hyaluronic, hyaluronic Happy Kiss, they also roll back down, thankfully. They are a new formula that is lightweight, supposedly 12 hour wear, um, and ultra, or sorry, 16 hour wear. My goodness, 16, who can test that? But 16 hour wear, um, they are ultra matte. The matte revolution is just matte. These are ultra matte. I am currently wearing actually this one, Everlasting Blossom. There are five shades. I picked up three. I picked up Berry Lucky, which you'll see in our swatches in a moment, and we'll try it on. I picked up Cherry Dream and Everlasting Blossom. So I picked up three of the five for us to look at here today. And I will also compare them with the Lucky Lips uh, last release. That's a tongue twister in in accidentally, with the last release uh, Lucky Lipsticks that uh, Charlotte Tilbury did for the Lunar New Year. That's a lot of L's in one little bit of language. So we'll stop with the L's. I want to get on to more comparisons. Let's take a look at, first of all, the three shades of the five new lipsticks that I picked up in uh, Studio Lighting. Let's take a look there. We have Berry Lucky on the left, Cherry Dream in the middle, and Everlasting Blossom on the right. And then in studio lighting, and then we're going to jump over to our outdoor lighting uh, for the eyes too. Wait till you see that. But again now in studio lighting, I want to show you that I have added in the three Lucky Lipsticks from her Lunar New Year release. So we have on the bottom row, Berry Lucky. Cherry Dream and Everlasting Blossom, and then above it, Sweet Blossom on the left, Rose Wish and Lucky Cherry. Those are from her last Lunar New Year release, so you can at least see how they compare to the three shades that I picked up. All right, now I want to go to something sensational. Before we go, jump over to our demo, I want to show you all of these shades in natural lighting. So let's first take a look at Smoky Eyes Are Forever on my arm outside. Take a look at how beautiful these shades are and how they show off in the sunlight. Take a look at those there. Aren't those absolutely beautiful? Same order as they were on my arm in the studio lighting. I just took it outside for a, br a brief moment. Thought you could take a look at those. And then for reference, I took my arm outside um, with all six of the shades. So I did the three of the five in the brand new Limitless Lucky Lips. And then I left above them the uh, Lunar New Year lipsticks too, in case you have those and wanted to see the difference. Let's take a look at those outside. Same order as was in my on my arm in the studio lighting. The bottom row is our new shades, and that top row, we'll compare it a little bit with the Lunar New Year shades. Any other shade comparisons that you need, I'm very happy to do with red lipsticks. And Charlotte, there's a lot of comparisons to be had, but you guys, wait till we talk about this at the end. It's not the shade. It's the formula. Let's talk about this right now. I'm going to do my super duper quick demo. You know how I do. And I'm going to also try on those lipsticks for you. And then I have so many thoughts to share. Do not go anywhere. Stay right there. Okay, we're going to do one of my tried and true quick demos with the new Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. And I think I'm actually going to palette hop a little bit. I know that we have four separate looks, but let's just dance around just a little bit. And I will also use the, I'm finding it here, free little mini blender. It's a synthetic brush that I don't usually use, but Charlotte's brushes are actually pretty good. So let's start all the way over in our very, very first Love Eyes. And I'm just going to take a matte shade just to set everything that I have. You know, I have, um, I have hooded lids, so even the concealer that I have on my eyes can kind of crease a little bit. So that's the very, very first shade in Love Eyes just to set. I'm just going to jump around just a little bit. Oh, wow. So many pretty shades here. In Power Eyes, I think I'm going to take the same brush and go over into the third shade of Power Eyes and just kind of put a little bit into the crease. I didn't even wipe off the brush or tap off the brush because it's kind of an emollient shade. You know, we've got six different formulas going here and I just wanted to deepen it. 
kind of interesting there. Do again, I should have used her brush. That's okay. You know, I'm addicted to Sonia G's brushes, so it's going to be hard to break me away. But honestly, um, I like Charlotte's little brushes for travel. I really do. Okay. And so we, now we just kind of have like a little bit of a smoky base that I don't know what I'm quite going to do with. Let me go in here and grab another Sonia brush and let's go under with that same third shade in the Power Eyes. Pardon me as I squint there. The lighting uh, reflects off of the metal there and makes it a little hard for me to see. Okay, so now we really just have two shades on. First in Love Eyes and third in Power Eyes. Now let's take Charlotte's brush and let's do something fun with this green shade, which I've been kind of dying to get into, which is of course the second shade in Power Eyes. And with Charlotte's brush, I'm just going to kind of go along the lid, which kind of covers what I did with the third shade, but I'm just really trying out the shades here, guys. So we're just having a little bit of fun. And I am wearing kind of an olive colored shirt today, so I thought that would be kind of fun too. And uh, I am really going for it. I'm going to use that same brush that I had before to go into that same shade. I think we've kind of done enough here. Wow, what is, so what is the negativity about? I have some thoughts on this when we come back. I'm kind of feeling very Cleopatra-y. I kind of like it, like, I mean, let's, let's play a little bit, but I mean, I really kind of feel like I should be leaving this, you know? I'm gonna take this little brush here and go into the uh, first shade here in our very, very last confident eyes, and let's put a little bit of pink. I don't think I would normally do this, guys, but we're playing with it. Let's put a little bit of pink in the center. That's actually kind of pretty, kind of under there. Look at that. And the way those kind of blend in together, and let me see if I can zoom you in to see it, is actually really pretty. I want to try on the lipsticks for you guys, and I do need some eyeliner and some mascara, and I'm going to do the lipsticks in almost like a little quick, quick, quick montage, so stay right there. Here is the first of the three shades I picked up, Very Lucky. I have so much to say about the formula, but this is Very Lucky in the tube and on my lips. Second up, we have Cherry Dream. This is Cherry Dream right here in the tube and on my lips. Very, very, very pigmented. Cherry Dream. And last but not least for the shades I picked out, here is Everlasting Blossom. Here it is in the tube and on my lips. And I'll just wear that for the rest of the video. So let's start by talking about a little assessment of the, of the new lipsticks. I am pretty impressed. I'm not usually a matte lipstick fan, but these are a different kind of matte than the Matte Revolution. And before you say, oh shucks, because I actually liked her Matte Revolution and I don't like mattes either. These are interesting. They're so light feeling that they're almost like a lip stain kicked up a notch. Um, not a liquid lip, but they almost feel like they stain the lips. And um, I can see that they would last. A lot. In fact, on my second change there, I actually walked around and did a bunch of things and I kept checking my teeth. You know when you have a red lipstick on, you're thinking, oh, it'll get on my teeth. You know, you do that thing where you kind of put your finger through your mouth to get the excess off. They're not transferring to my teeth. I want to do a little bit of a, a hand kiss test uh, to see how they will be with masks, but I do believe masks were in mind. Usually when I'm first wearing a red lipstick, I kind of have to be a bit careful because it does get on the teeth. You know how that is. This doesn't seem to. I can't imagine it's completely transfer proof, but we shall see. It just, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips. So um, even with the Matte Revolution, which is a comfortable matte, you are wearing a lipstick. I don't feel it at all. In terms of a scent, slight, slight, slight vanilla scent in the tube. Nothing on the lips for my, for those of you who are scent averse or love scent. I just wanted to give you that information. Um, I think this is a beautiful formula and these are beautiful reds. I'm sure I will pick up the other two. Let's give it a try now that it's kind of sat on my lips for a little bit and see how it goes. I can't imagine it won't transfer even just a little, right? Wow, hey, hey, let's try it again. Let me really give my hand to smack a room. What? Hey, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm 
think that would work. That was a good smack, too. Wow, okay. So they just passed the transfer test. Now, about, so yes, those lipsticks are fantastic. If you like reds, if you want to experiment with reds, they're beautiful. The three I got are, as you saw from the swatches, just different enough from her other releases of the Lucky Lipstick um, in the little red cases back from the Lunar New Year, if you recall. All right, let's talk about the uh, Instant Eyes palette. The Smoky Eyes are forever. First of all, um, Smoky with an EY. I always thought it Smoky with a Y. I checked Smoky with an EY is still correct, but it's a bit archaic. Grammar nerds unite. Okay, so let's talk about, about this palette. I think right now, because Charlotte Tilbury has had a few dud releases, I think right now there's a lot of the dog pile, and I think people are getting attention if they say that they hate it or they don't like her release. I hear people saying that the palette itself isn't weighty enough. Look, guys, this is a beautiful palette. And I will tell you like it is, because I did not like the nudegasm. If you saw my review, I didn't like it. I'm being honest with you. This is flipping beautiful. The shades perform, they are so highly pigmented, they are so easy to blend. How long did it take me to do this quick look, which I think for me looks like it took a lot longer than it did. Um, six different formulas, they, beautiful. You saw the swatches, I think they speak for themselves, those were all one pass on the swatches. This is beautiful. Nobody should be complaining about this. I, I understand that people will, and I love it. I love my fellow reviewers. I, I don't mean any shade there. Trust me, I don't. I'm just saying, in my opinion, this is a darn good eyeshadow palette. People were asking me if they should buy it. Yes, if you are a Charlotte Tilbury collector, if you don't have any Charlotte Tilbury, this is a beautiful palette. It performs well. The colors, I think, are imaginative. Oh, it's the same color story from Charlotte. Not, not really. Again, as I always tell you guys ad nauseum, how many shades of eyeshadow can anyone make anyway? And if we do something really out of the ordinary, like the Urban Decay Cyber Palette, nobody likes it. So you know what? You know what? What? It, they're wearable. They're beautiful. They're pigmented. They're they swatch nice. They go onto the eyes nice. They last. No complaints. No complaints. I love it. You are welcome to disagree with me absolutely welcome to. In fact, I love it. I invite the dialogue below. I love to hear what you guys say. So definitely comment below. Let me know any other thoughts that you have. I'm here to hear them. Any recommendations that you need. Any other swatches that I didn't do, I'm happy to do over on Instagram. Had I compared these red lips to all her other lipsticks, we would be here forever, all her other reds. Plus, you guys, it's not just the shade. It's the formula. This formula is really nice. So you might be able to dupe the shade, but can you dupe the wearability, the non-transferability, the formula? That's the question. So let me know your comments and swatch requests below or over on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.